Yo, what's up guys? It's JR. Welcome back to the channel where we explore the wildest survival scenarios and prepare you for anything life might throw your way. Don't forget to put your comments below about this video and tell me the other subjects you'd like to see videos on that relate to survival and prepping. Today, we're diving headfirst into a world without the internet, without smartphones, without your favorite Taco Tuesdays. Yeah, you heard that right. Imagine a world where all the comforts and conveniences we take for granted just vanish overnight. We're talking about what goes down after a societal collapse. Picture this, no more streaming your favorite shows, no more scrolling through social media, and definitely no more food delivery apps. It's a whole new ball game, but don't worry, we're not going full doomsday prepper here. We're just gonna cover the basics of what you need to know to stay safe and sound. Think of it as a crash course in Survival 101. This is all about being prepared, not paranoid. We'll show you how to pack an emergency kit, what essentials you need, and how to stay calm when everything around you is going haywire. Because in a world without money, knowing how to barter could save your bacon. Literally, imagine trading skills, goods, and services instead of relying on cash. It's a whole new economy. Imagine this, you've got a whole garage full of useless dollar bills, but guess what? In this new world, those bills are just paper. What really matters are the items and skills you can trade. Someone's offering a lifetime supply of ramen noodles for a single working can opener. Who's laughing now, huh? It's all about adapting and making the best out of a tough situation. So stick around because we're about to dive deep into the art of survival and bartering in a post-apocalyptic world. Let's get started. First up on our list is the most obvious one water. Forget diamonds. In a post-apocalyptic world, clean drinking water is the real gem. We're talking about the kind of liquid gold that'll have you swimming in, well, more water if you play your cards right. Imagine rolling up to a barter session with a backpack full of Fiji water. You'll be the king or queen of hydration, my friends. All right, let's talk fuel for the human engine food. And no, I'm not talking about those gourmet meals you see on those fancy cooking shows. I'm talking about the stuff that'll last longer than your last Instagram notification. Think canned goods, dried beans, rice, and the ultimate survival food, ramen noodles. Remember that guy who traded his can opener for ramen? He's probably living large right now, running his own ramen empire. Next up, we've got medicine. It's something we often take for granted, but in times of need, it becomes invaluable. And I'm not talking about those gummy bear vitamins you pretend to like. Sure, they might be fun and tasty, but when it comes to real emergencies, they won't cut it. I'm talking about the heavy hitters, antibiotics, pain relievers, antiseptics. These are the real MVPs in your medicine cabinet. Think of it this way, in a world without doctors, a simple bottle of aspirin could be the difference between a headache and a full-blown barter gone wrong disaster. Imagine having a severe headache and no access to medical help. That aspirin becomes a lifesaver. That's right. I'm sure you realize medicines are not just for treating illnesses. They can also be a form of currency in desperate times. In times of crisis, having essential medicines on hand can make all the difference. A well-stocked first aid kit can be a lifesaver, whether it's for treating minor wounds or more serious conditions. Antibiotics in particular can be life-saving when infections hit and there's no medical help around. They can prevent a minor cut from turning into a life-threatening situation. It's not just about having the medicines, it's about knowing how to use them and when. A well-organized medicine cabinet can be a crucial part of your emergency preparedness plan. So folks, keep those medicine cabinets stocked, make sure you have a variety of essential medicines, and check expiration dates regularly. You never know when they'll become your most valuable asset. 
In uncertain times, being prepared can make all the difference. So take the time to stock up and stay safe. Chapter four, moving on to tools, the Swiss army knives of the post-collapse world. We're talking about the stuff that separates the builders from, well, let's just say the less handy. A sturdy knife, a multi-tool, some rope, and of course the magical fix-all duct tape. Remember, in this new world, duct tape isn't just for fixing things, it's for building empires. Okay, maybe not empires, but it can definitely fix a leaky water bottle. Um, chapter five, next up is something you might not think about, clothing. And I'm not talking about that designer jacket you've been saving up for. We're talking about durable, weather appropriate clothes that'll keep you warm, dry, and ready for anything. Imagine this, you're trading for some much needed supplies and it starts pouring. Who's getting the better deal? The guy in a flimsy t-shirt or the one rocking a waterproof jacket? Chapter six. Now let's talk about the future seeds. These tiny packages hold the potential for a whole lot of green. And I don't mean money. In a world where grocery stores are a distant memory, being able to grow your own food is like having a winning lottery ticket. Just picture it. You're trading a handful of tomato seeds for, well, pretty much anything you want. You're basically a post-collapse farming tycoon. Chapter seven. Next up is something near and dear to our hearts, or at least our cars, fuel. In a world without Uber, knowing how to get around is key. Whether it's gasoline for your trusty ride or propane for cooking, having fuel gives you options. Just imagine cruising down the open road while everyone else is stuck walking. You'll be the envy of every post-apocalyptic commuter out there. Now let's talk about the little things that make a big difference, batteries. Sure, they might not seem like much in our tech-filled world, but in a post-collapse society, a working flashlight could be a lifesaver. And forget about scrolling through social media. We're talking about powering up radios for communication and essential devices. Batteries are like the unsung heroes of the post-apocalyptic world. Next on our list are hygiene products. Look, we've all been there after a camping trip. Trust me, staying clean is important. But in a post-societal collapse world, it's more than just feeling fresh. It's about staying healthy. Soap, toothpaste, hand sanitizer. These are the things that'll keep the post-apocalyptic funk away. Finally, the most valuable thing you can barter with isn't something you can hold in your hand. It's knowledge and skills. Knowing how to fix things, grow food, provide medical care, these are the skills that'll make you indispensable. Imagine being the only person who knows how to purify water or start a fire. You'll be the ultimate post-collapse consultant. So, there you have it, folks. My top 10 priceless barter items for a post-societal collapse world. Remember, being prepared isn't about being scared, it's about being smart. Plus, who knows, maybe you can start collecting these items now and get a head start on your post-collapse barter empire. Don't forget to share your own barter ideas in the comments below. Since you are considering items to store, you will want to run over to survivalcavefood.com and check out our long-term storage foods. We have a wide variety of canned meats and freeze-dried pre-made meals. They last for years, and they could be a great barter item. Remember, the key to successful bartering is understanding the value of what you have and what you need. It's not just about stockpiling items, but also about knowing how to use them effectively. For instance, having a water purification system is great, but knowing how to use it properly is even better. The same goes for medical supplies and tools. Sharing knowledge and skills can be just as valuable as the items themselves. So start learning and practicing now. Plan your routes, know your resources, and build a network of trusted individuals. Community and cooperation will be crucial in a post-collapse world. If you enjoyed this slightly unhinged but hopefully helpful guide, hit that like button, subscribe. Thanks for watching.
And remember to stay prepared, stay smart, and stay safe. Until next time, see you soon.